On Sunday, a second would-be assassin took aim at former President Donald Trump. As he was golfing at his West Palm Beach course, Secret Service agents exchanged fire with a man wielding an AK-47 hidden in a tree line. The man ended up fleeing and was later taken into custody, meaning that, of course, you know it's a white guy. The alleged shooter is 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh, a former Trump voter turned Vivek and Nikki Haley supporter. So, definitely a Republican. Uh, now, online post revealed the shooter was conservative, uh, but also very pro-Ukraine and perhaps mentally unbalanced. Uh, now, that shouldn't surprise anybody in a country where it's easier to get guns than it is to get mental health care. Now, some of the first posts Routh put out after setting up his Twitter account back in 2020 show him backing Tulsi Gabbard's bid for president. Uh, now, he described the then Democratic Congresswoman as someone who understands the horrors of war and will fight for world peace, adding that he had personally emailed several speeches to her team. So now, of course, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, no longer a Democrat, uh, she is actually ad advising Donald Trump. <laughs> so there's the irony, right? Uh, now, in May of that year, he expressed apparent support for the George Floyd protests in Minnesota, accompanied by other posts in which he seemingly attempted to reach out to North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, whom he described as very smart and educated, uh, and whose country he wanted to prosper and succeed, as well as offering a free accommodation in Hawaii to beleaguered pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong later that August. Uh, now, from 2022 onward, he apparently became very passionate about protecting Ukraine, uh, and by Jan January 2024, he was calling on Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy to team up against Donald Trump for a pro-peace something ticket. Uh, now, it is important to note that both Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley have since bent the knee and kissed Donald Trump's ring. And of course, as I mentioned, Tulsi Gabbard, same thing. So now, but uh, what's fascinating uh, about this guy is like the dichotomy here, right? The, the contradiction. I am so anti-war that I'm going to try to kill Donald Trump. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, whoa. hold on, hold on. Whoa. I, I thought, hey, I, I thought the right wing saw Donald Trump as the anti-war candidate. So it doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, Donald Trump, of course, is not the anti-war candidate. Uh, he, look, he dropped the mother of all bombs on Afghanistan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, he's pro-war when it suits him, right? Uh, and, and as far as, like, Ukraine, well, look, he's, like, pretty much wanting to let Putin do whatever he wants in Ukraine. So I, I guess apparently this guy had some legitimate beefs. Does that mean that you should go around trying to shoot your political opponents? No, absolutely not. Uh, now, that said, getting to the mentally unbalanced part, right? Um, a neighbor of Routh did tell, uh, tell a, no, a local news station in North Carolina that the man was, quote, a little cuckoo. And, of course, had owned a lot of guns because uh, nothing is more quintessentially American than being kind of crazy and owning an arsenal. But, again, the guy, apparently the neighbor couldn't put two and two together, saying, I mean, I didn't think he would go that far. <laughs> I knew he was a little cuckoo, but assassinating the president? I just can't believe it. Why can't you believe it? Why can't you believe it? Oh, right. That would be why. If it were, like, if it were a black person or a Muslim and, you know, heavily armed, well, I mean, no one would be saying, oh, I can't believe it. They'd be saying, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, we know those people are violent. But it's a white dude who is both cuckoo and armed, as I mentioned. Everyone, for some reason, is gobsmacked when they do something, you know, uh, violent. I, I don't know how this could have happened. Really? Really? Okay. Now, look, it turns out this is not the first time this man was a threat to people. I know. Shocker, right? Uh, in 2002, a man believed to be Routh was arrested in North Carolina after an armed standoff with police. The Greensboro News and Record reported. Uh, now, the dispute began when Routh put his hand on a gun during the traffic stop before barricading himself for three hours inside United Roofing, a company based in Greensboro that records indicated he owned. Routh eventually surrendered, was charged with possession of a weapon of mass destruction, a fully automatic machine gun. Okay, so uh, now he was also 
charged with carrying a concealed weapon, hit and run, resisting an officer, and driving with a revoked license. So now you would think, wait a minute, this guy, he got in some serious, serious trouble. Um, how is he still, how is he able to amass an arsenal? Well, it turns out after all of that, he was convicted and sentenced to probation. That's right, probation. So Eric Garner, by the way, um, was uh, killed for selling loose cigarettes. Okay. He was choked to death. George Floyd took a knee in the back of the neck until he died. Okay. Sandra Bland was pulled over for failing to signal a lane change and was thrown in jail and later on was found hanging dead in her cell after numerous failures to check on her we mental well-being. But this man was hit and run, resist arrest, and literally had an armed standoff with police, allegedly. And at the end of all of that, oh, no, probation. It's fine. He'll, you'll be fine. He'll be fine. And then years later, of course, he amasses an arsenal and then attempts to kill the former president of the United States. You know, when we talk about white privilege, this is, this is a good example of that, right? Um, white privilege has really benefited the doubt. This man has easy access to weapons, even though he had already proven that he is a danger to other people, okay? Uh, that, that's the privilege, all right? That's the privilege. And now, of course, the right wing, they're, they're claiming he's leftist. Because, of course, right? That, that's what they always do. It's their go-to move. Uh, Trump's team blaming the Democrats for saying, ah, you're being too mean to Donald Trump. You were, you were talking about how much of a danger Trump is, how much of a threat to democracy he is. Well, those things are true, though. There's no lies detected that. He, yes, he tried to overturn an election. You forget about that? Now, Les, uh, Chris LaCivita, uh, in a post, said the Democrats will not tone down their attacks in the aftermath of Sunday's shooting attempt. Oh, you see, they, they want him dead. And Charlie Kirk, of course, spells it out. Uh, in his post, he says, they are going to try, keep trying to kill Trump. This is only beginning. This stops only when we win in November. Who, who's they, Charlie? Who, who's they? Uh, both shooters, both shooters were right wing. They were both conservatives. If they were, if they were CIA ops or psyops or whatever... They have to be the most incompetent. I mean, again, look, this is in reality another case of a deranged conservative gun hoarder. Which, by the way, look, you can be a conservative person and have beliefs all over the map. You can be a liberal person and have beliefs all over the map. Turns out you can't fit everyone into a single box. But he was a former Trump voter former Republican voter. So there you go. And again, had the arsenal. It'd be really hard to believe that someone who collected so many weapons would be in favor of people who you say are trying to confiscate people's weapons. What doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Uh, but so look, maybe we ought to, I don't know, do something about both guns and mental health. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.